Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and we can have tons of fun together. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. I use all drugstore products, so it's not expensive or anything like that. It's very simple. Also, please ignore my hair. I just took it out of a bun, so it's looking a little bit crazy. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. Can we just ignore my makeup bag? Because it's very old, it's very dirty. I'm too lazy to go buy a new one, so... Let's just pretend that doesn't exist. So, of course, starting out, you're going to want to take some moisturizer and moisturize your face. Um, I just use this lotion from St. Ives. I really like it. It's very good for sensitive skin. So that's what I use and I find that it makes putting on makeup super easy. So the first thing I am taking is this L'Oreal Magic BB Cream. It is green, so when you put it on, don't be surprised, but it is made for canceling out red. And I have a very red skin tone because I'm so white. So yeah, I really like this and I think it works really well. So I just put a little bit on my finger and then dab it. Uh, also, sorry if I'm like looking over this way, my mirror is there, so I'm not intentionally trying to not look at the camera. But at the same time, I need to know what I'm doing. So I have found that when I use this BB cream that it is a little too orange for my liking on its own so I normally just combine it with some more foundation. This is the CoverGirl True Blend in the shade M3. I have used this literally since I first started putting on makeup in like maybe like 8th grade and I really like it. It doesn't even feel like you have foundation on. So I just take again a little bit on my finger. If it would like to come out that would be nice. And then I just kind of put it where I put the green stuff. Next I'm taking this brush that also looks kind of ratchet, sorry, but um, I think I got this in some Amazon pack of brushes, but this is what I use to like blend my liquid foundation and I think that it works pretty good. I always feel like a painter when I do this because I literally paint my foundation onto my skin, but I find that this like makes it super full coverage and then the redness really goes away. So when I am done putting it on with the brush, obviously like you can tell it's not all the way blended in. So I just take my fingers the rest of the way and smooth it um, horizontally because then it doesn't streak or anything like that. And I think that it adds a nice smooth finish to the makeup look. So now that our foundation is on, I'm going to be taking a little bit of concealer. Sorry, everything just like fell. <laughs> I don't do concealer every day, but I am looking a little bit tired, so I'm going to go ahead and do that today. I use um, the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear in the shade 345 Oatmeal. Now this concealer is like extremely thick, so I don't like to use it on my own because it dries out my skin like way too much. So I normally mix it with this. Um, I think this is Cover Curl. The label kind of came off, so sorry again. I really need to like <laughs> get my stuff together. All products will be listed in the description below, so if I'm not explaining these right, you can go and find them and click on them for yourselves. So usually what I do is I take the L'Oreal really pasty, really thick concealer first and just put it underneath my eyes. Um, again, I don't use a lot because I don't like it really, but like I still use it anyways. So, I don't know. So then, anyways, then I take this concealer over top and just put it literally right on top. Like that. And I take that same brush that I used for my foundation and just go under my eyes with it. I think that it does a great job of brightening up my under eyes so that I don't look so exhausted. Next, I'm taking a makeup sponge. Again, guys, I just need a new one. This is obviously a very realistic makeup tutorial. Um, and then I just go over the sides of my face and just kind of blend it out because sometimes the foundation can like build up on the edges of my face and then it looks kind of weird or I get lines. So I don't want that. I'm just going to blend it down my face. Next, we're going to set our face with some powder. I use the L'Oreal True Match powder in the shade W5 Sand Beige. I really like this because it kind of bronzes your face, but it also like mattes it too so that it looks nice. And then I'm just taking this e.l.f. Kabuki brush, if that's how you say it. 
I got it from Target, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna open it up and start putting it on my face. Also super important is to blend it down your neck. My foundation is slightly darker than my skin tone because if I used my skin tone, I would look like a ghost. So anyways, you just want to blend it down your neck so that the shade difference isn't so obvious. Like that. My face gets specifically shiny and or oily like in my T-zone as I'm sure everyone else's does. So then I take like a more thick brush. This is Bastope, if that's how you say it. I don't know, but it's like thick and it's really good at application. So what I do is I take a little bit more on the brush and just put it in this area only. Because then it's really matte. Now our skin is done. Um, I'm going to move on to eyes. I don't really do eyeshadow on like an everyday basis, but because I'm doing a video, I'll show you guys like what I would do if I was just doing like a super simple, super basic look. First I take that same L'Oreal really white, really thick concealer that um, I showed you guys like literally a second ago. And I put this on my eyelids as like a primer. Um, I don't actually own primer. Maybe I should invest in that. But... This is what I use. Just rub that in. I think it adds like a nice base for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to be going in with the new Classics e.l.f. palette. It's from Target. I think it's around $14, which I think is a pretty good deal considering we get all these colors and they last all day long. So first I'm taking this flat brush and then I'm going to go in with this color up here, the like whitish shade. I'm just going to put that... Uh, on the inner corners of my eyes so that I look awake. I really like putting eyeshadow in the inner corners <laughs> in the inner corners of my eye because it really does brighten up your eyes and make them look more awake and more full. Next, I'm taking another one of the Bastope brushes. This one's just like a little fluffy brush, and I'm going to be taking Truffle. I think that is what it's called. And this is going to be like my base color. I'm just going to start by filling it in at the top of my brow and then working my way down into my eyelid. I think that that just adds like a nice little pop of color. It's like a light brown. I really like it. Okay, so next I'm just going to be taking this rose gold color and I'm going to take the same fluffy brush but I'm going to pack it on my lid so that it's vibrant. So now I'm just going to finish off the eyeshadow look by going in with Muse color and I'm just going to blend that at the outer corners um, so that it kind of ties the whole look together. I think that this eyeshadow look turned out a little bit more dramatic than I had originally planned but I think it still looks really good. It looks to me more like a, like a brown smoky eye. Next I'm taking some Maybelline, I think, Colossal Eyelash Mascara, and it is in the shade black. And then I just put it on my eyelashes. I really like this mascara because it's waterproof, and it is waterproof. It like literally doesn't come off. Next, I'm taking this Wet n Wild brow pencil in the shade Ginger Roots. When I tell you this eyebrow pencil is $2, I mean it's literally $2, but it is great. I love it. It is the exact color of my hair, which I had a really hard time finding because, you know, I have like reddish blonde hair, so um, I always had problems finding the right eyebrow color, but this... It's amazing. I dye my eyebrows and I just dyed them. If you want to know how to do that, check out my last video. Link's in the description. I normally just like to outline them just to make them more, how do you say, pronounced maybe? That's the word. I don't know. Sorry, I'm like off camera because I'm trying to look in the mirror. But I normally like outline them and then just brush it through. So I'll outline them quick and then show you what I mean. So I have them outlined, and obviously that looks a little bit crazy. So then I take the other side of the brush and just brush it through. And boom, eyebrows are done. Lastly, we are just going to go in with our lip color. First, I always moisturize my lips by using like some chapstick. I use the Burt's Bees um, original. I really like it. 
Next, I'm taking this Lorac Los Angeles lip gloss um, in the shade CEO PDG. Don't really know, but I really like it. It's like a mauve tone, and then I just put that on my lips. The last thing I do, I go in with a Q-tip and I wet one side of it. And then I just go underneath my eye to make sure that I get any like excess eyeshadow. I use the wet side first. And then I take the dry side so that it really all comes off. So that's it for my makeup routine. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously I don't do makeup like this every day, especially right now during quarantine. Um, but if I am feeling a little extra spicy today, that is what I do. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys use any of these products, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a new video from me. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!